How's it going YouTube? I get out of bed, I move quickly, and then I fall down. Today we're going to be doing our 4th generation updated sale video. This is going to be the last 4th gen sale video for quite a while, and I have gone through a lot of the Diamond and Pearl series stacks, but it's still going to be a very extensive sale video. It does include some new cards. You're going to see a lot of cards from sets that weren't properly represented before. Some in different quantities, some have been replenished to replace all the ones that sold. And in some cases, you're just going to see brand new cards that you didn't see before. Uh, namely from Shining Darkness, which is probably the set with the greatest hollow spread of all time. And you'll know when you see it, we'll just put it that way. Um, I'm going to go over the rules really quickly, but I do want to first tell you guys, first of all, that rules are in the description below in case you can't understand anything that I say, which is possible because I tend to speak fairly quickly when I do these. And also that this is going to be my last 4th gen seal video until after Tidal Storm and Gaia Volcano. So, depending on what else I get in, I might not do another one specifically like this and with the prices being as low as they are. I may take whatever opportunity I can to put the better cards into my trade binder. And once cards have been specifically graded, then they go into the trade binder and the prices will increase. I add KMC Perfect Sleeves, I sort, there's a lot of labor that goes into it. So that's why the prices go up. But the prices are still going to be pretty darn cheap on this video. If you haven't seen the previous one, a lot of the hollows that you see in front of you are going to be 50 cents. Some of them might actually be less. So let's read the rules off real quick. I'm going to sound really familiar to you guys if you saw a fourth or fifth gen sale video prior. Um, number one, I will not reply to inquiries in the comments. You must PM me or email me, and you can email me by reaching me at wakerungcollapse at gmail.com. Number two, I will not reply to your inquiry unless you give me the Pokemon name and the timestamp. Lots of cards in this video. I can't go searching for individual people for a special treatment. So give me the time that the card appears and the Pokemon's name. If there happen to be a couple that are right in the wheelhouse, I might ask you for clarification, but this saves me from sending back and forth messages for no reason. Number three, PayPal is accepted. US cash by mail is also accepted. I do not accept any foreign currency. I don't have a good way to convert it. So if you want to send in a foreign currency, I apologize. You can use PayPal and do the conversion yourself, or unfortunately we can't come to a deal. Number four, minimum purchase is two bucks. Number five, I charge shipping. If you buy eight cards or less, they're going to come in white, plain envelopes. If you buy nine cards or more, they come in a bubble mailer. Uh, this is the cheapest way that I can do it and maintain my sanity. Uh, number six, hollows may not be sleeved individually, and if you buy a bunch of cards, they're not going to get individual top loaders. The prices are as low as they are because I'm able to cut costs on those things without sacrificing the security and safety of your cards. So that happens. Uh, number seven, I'll ship when I can. Uh, Thanksgiving time, Christmas time, very busy for me. Very busy at work, as you probably already know. Uh, number eight, I will not hold cards for you. And I'm going to clarify this one. If you cannot pay within three days of an invoice, don't message me for cards. If you're looking to purchase a bunch of fourth generation cards, but you want to save money on shipping, what you can do is we can come to an agreement on the cards that are currently available. You can send me the money for them. Let's specify that. I think that's necessary. You can send me the money, PayPal or USD cash by mail, either way. And then I will hold the cards for you so that when you buy anything from 5th gen or a future 3rd gen sale video, which will come in two weeks or so, I think I'm going to try to sneak it in before X and Y5. I'll hold the cards for you so that your shipping is less expensive. But I'm not going to sort out all these cards and then have you say, oh, well, you know, I might want to buy some other stuff, so I'm just going to wait until then. No, you're going to send your money or you're not going to have your cards held for you. I'm working on deals from almost two weeks ago because people are struggling to get back to me in a proper fashion. And I really don't want to do that because it takes cards out of circulation. And people who were looking to buy cards previously, and I told them it was out of stock, a lot of them are going to see cards that are familiar to them because they couldn't get them last time around. And yet here they are available in the sale video. So, yeah, if you want to do something like that, make sure to specify that in your first correspondence. Number nine, total prices will round up to the nearest dollar. Um, learn how to do math. If you buy two cards out of a three for two dollar pile, I can round it to two bucks because I can do that. But I'm not going to, you know, try to steal money from you or anything. And number 10, I will eventually... Oh, nope, that's not a, that's not a thing. Um, number 10, I'll tell you what the, um, what the schedule's going to be. I might do an updated sale video in the future. I'm not sure. Wow, we're on five minutes already. Uh, 
fourth gen is going to be today. Updated fifth gen is going to be next Tuesday. And sometime, maybe late on the weekend, maybe Sunday or Monday, I'm going to do a third gen sale video. It's a little bit smaller, but I still want to get it out of the way before X and Y5 hits. Because once I get 40 booster boxes to upload and, you know, open, convert, upload, and post about and comment through and sorting out all those cards, I'm not going to want to deal with third, fourth, and fifth gen. So, uh, this sale video is going to be up for a week, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first cards that you're going to see are going to be three for a dollar holographic cards. These cards are in beat up condition. Generally, it's going to be very good or worse. Let's see if I can get a good look on this. Generally, very good or worse. That means if you are picky about your condition, you're not going to like these cards. Sometimes they just have significant edge wear. Sometimes a small crease, sometimes a large crease, you know, water damage, things like that can happen. A lot of these cards still look really good, though. As you can tell from the uh, from the images, a lot of the holographics, a lot of the fronts are still in really great shape. But there are going to be some plate condition cards in here, so you just have to keep that in mind. Also, they are sorted by set, so we already went through Diamond of Pearl 1, and we're working on DP2 right now. But I'm not going to specify which set you are uh, you are looking at for every timestamp, because that is crazy, and takes a crazy lot of time. Plus, I'd rather just show you guys the cards. I've got a lot to go through. Another 25 minute sale video would be the opposite of a surprise to me. Now we're into Platinum Series. Remember, three for a dollar, everything in here. So if you want to maximize your value, make sure to purchase in multiples of three. Even some Advent of Arceus cards in here. And that set was is still actually really poorly represented. And now we're on to the Legend series. So if you have certain Pokemon that you tend to like, I'm just going to show a couple of them kind of awkward space to get rid of this sleeved card. If you have a couple of Pokemon that you particularly like a lot of cards from, And then uh, this might be a very good opportunity for you to stock up. And there's some reverse hollows too. Ah, get back here, Electivire. Just mixed into it. I do have a few beat up two for a dollar cards. I was just scanning through to make sure there were no surprises in here. These ones are going to be two for a buck, even though they're beat up because they're much better, more popular, you know, Pokemon. And some of them might even be pretty well damaged. I think the Entei's got a crease right down the center. But uh, these ones are going to be 50 cents. They are still beat up, but they're still really nice because they have awesome monsters on them. Alright, sort that out, send it to the back. This stuff is going to be two for a dollar, it's going to be your standard collection, your standard fare. So for the next probably eight to ten minutes, you're going to be looking at 50 cent cards that are in excellent condition or better. I have sorted them all by set, and then all within those sets so that they match the set list, or at least sorted by type. And then I have gone through the painstaking process of analyzing each individual card to determine if it is excellent or better, or if it is very good or worse. So everything that you're going to see for the next few minutes is deemed to be excellent or better. As you can see, I have been wiped out of a lot of Diamond and Pearl stuff. A lot. And you're just going to, unfortunately, have to go off of what I still have. Some of the less popular monsters are more prevalent now. 
but I've got a few re-ups. Getting a few of the uh, late trio guys back. But overall, my uh, my purchase, my second thingy, I guess you would call it, was uh, not predominantly diamond and pearl. It was mostly platinum series for fourth gen stuff. It's also a bit more noticeable. After all those other things have already sold. But it was really remarkable how uh, how much you guys came through for my diamond and pearl sales. My fourth gen sales in general, but diamond and pearl seemed to get the most requests, and I really want to thank you guys for that. So that's all the way through intense fight in the destroyed sky. Line this guy through here, and we're gonna go on to the platinum series. Only, f yeah, only four sets, but tons and tons of cards to go through. So please bear with me <laughs> as I want through all these cards. You're also welcome to purchase multiples of the same card. I'm gonna put no restrictions on that, like I do with new sale videos. These cards have been out for years, and if you want to help me out by, you know, picking up a bunch of them, you're more than welcome. If you're a big Gardevoir fan and you want all four of those, you just say, I want all four Gardevoir, and if I've still got them all, I'm happy to sell them to you. Yeah, all the stuff, two for a dollar. That legendary Giratina, also two for a dollar. Still working here on Platinum 1 Galactic's Conquest. Frickin' Weavile Party. I did get a good amount of um, Platinum Series 3 Pulse of the Frontier. I know that's been a pretty popular set on my channel, so you will see that in a moment. The next set is Bonds to the End of Time. It starts now. The Rosa Raids. That should be good. Trying to make sure that I'm holding enough cards to make it worthwhile, but also not to the point where they're going to slip and slide all over the place. Yep, all two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. And yes, these went quickly, and yes, there is a chance. Oh, here we are right now, Platinum Series 3. And yes, there is a chance that these cards will not be made available again for a while. You're always welcome to look at my trade binder for cards, but this sale video is only going to be active for about a week or so. Because then I need to be able to move on and go on to my 5th gen sale video, put a little focus into that. I'm sure you guys will understand. Here we go. And I know it is a longer process to show only one card at a time, but it helps to give you guys an idea of what the quantities are that are available for each card. So I want you to be able to um, plan for this in case there's a certain card that you want a lot of. And only two Advent of Arceus cards in the Toxicroak and the Luxray. Very sad, I'm sure they will sell quickly, they always do. I was really hoping that uh, in that second lot from Noodles I would have like an extra 50 or so near mint or mint condition holographic cards from that set. That would be really nice. These are my reverse hollows, and individually they are still going to be two for a dollar. But if you want to do a brother a solid and buy a lot of these, like if you're looking to complete a set or you would just like a whole bunch of cool Japanese reverses, I would be willing to reduce the cost for you a little bit, but that is my prerogative. I'm going to be the one that decides how many is enough to warrant a discount and how much that discount will be. So do not email me asking for a discount. If you buy a whole bunch of cards, especially if there's some of the cards that maybe I've got a lot of, or I think I might have difficulty selling in the future, I'm probably going to be more likely to give you that discount. 
And I'm not talking a significant, ridiculous discount where they're going to be like 20 cents a piece. But if you're buying, you know, 15, 20, 30, you know, 40 or 50, maybe, <laughs> reverse hollows, um, then you're probably going to see a small discount in some fashion. But I will still have to ship in a bubble mailer. So there's going to be costs associated with that. Ah! And apparently a canopy associated with attacking the camera. But on an individual or small scale basis, these are still going to be two for a dollar. I just take up so much freaking space in my trade binder. So much space. I'm feeling the pain of you English collectors when you have to make a binder that's got reverse holographic cards in them. It sucks, man. I'm telling you. So I'm going to try to avoid the nastiness of all of that by just selling a good amount of them off right here. Of course, if you've got a bunch of reverse hollows already and you're looking to trade some of them, there are a few, I believe, from each Japanese Legend series set on my wants list. So if you happen to have a significant portion of them, maybe have a look at that. You might have something that I need. In which case, I would be more than happy to trade for those cards on my wants list only. That is really the only exception. If I've got something on my wants list, which is in the description of every single video, and you see a sale video of mine, you are more than welcome to offer the cards that I need as a trade for some of the cards in the sale video. Other than that, please don't bother me with, I have such and such EX English, or just a card that I've already got, something like that, that's just, it's foolish. And please don't waste my time. You can already see how long this sale video is, and you can only imagine how much time I spent reconfiguring everything. There was quite a bit of it. Ooh, love disc. These are still just finishing out the reverse hollows. We're going to go on to the regular holographic cards now. A stack of those is not nearly as high. And that's going to round out our two for a dollar at the end of the next pile. Then I've got some higher price cards and some promos, and then we'll be done. Uh, I think you can do it in two stacks. So, regular holographic cards from the Legend series, also two for a dollar. Wow. My hands are getting a little clammy under this light. It is surprisingly warm in Massachusetts today. It's like almost 65 degrees out, and it's the first day of December. If Sorry, spoiler, I'm shooting this on Monday. I do not have time to shoot a 25-minute video on Tuesday morning before I go to work. Still got a good amount of Legend series left over, but some of the more popular cards have been picked through. I learned my lesson on the uh, on the Raichus. That got a little insane. Alright, stack those to the back. Ooh, move him over. And last little bit of two for a dollar here. Here we go. Got some quag, of course. Got to make sure my boy is properly represented. Did get some extra Zatu back. I know that sold out fairly quickly, much to my surprise. Not even my chagrin, just my surprise. So make sure you're comparing your own wants list to the cards that you see in this video, because there's a good chance that if you're collecting from 4th gen and you need some Japanese hollows, I'm going to have something that you're looking for. 
Okay, that's the end of two for a dollar. I am actually going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go promos last. Let's just move that over here. I'm going to go promos last. I've got some three for two dollars, also excellent condition or better. Some will be mint, some will be near mint, some will be excellent, you know, edge wear, the, the usual. But the cards in this stack are three for two. Nice to have some of the more popular, oh, there we go, Pulse of the Frontier cards in here. Nice to be able to offer Absol at 3 for 2 and Rayquaza C at 3 for 2. They were originally in my dollar pile and I just decided to knock it down a little bit. Oh, Rogue Absol, what are you doing back there? You should have been with your uh, with your brethren. A couple of Zapdos G, and then a few Legend Series holographic cards. I think a couple reverses maybe. Nope, just hollows. And that's the 3 for 2 pile. Next pile is actually going to be the $1 pile. And there are some $2 cards to follow as well. Ugh. Okay, so $1 cards. Lots more Shining Darkness. This is where the strength of the set is really going to shine. Legendary Dogs. We've got some Ho-Oh. Some Fully Evolved Starters. There's the rest of the dogs there. A few Dark Rise and one Lugia. I'm really excited to be able to offer that for a dollar. Got some Lucarios at a buck. Uh, Jirachi is a few cards you'll recognize from previous videos, just because they didn't happen to sell. Uh, for Alligator, I'll actually put in the three for two pile, so I'm just going to move them over here. And uh, Nine Tails will do the same thing, just to try to get rid of the. Um, the uh, reverse hollow, same thing with the Eevee. That'll go over there. The rest of these are going to be a dollar. I have a lot of Lost Link holographic cards. Lost Link being a very difficult set to complete in Japanese. Very difficult set. And I'm able to offer them for a dollar for two reasons. Number one, there was a little bit of warp in the cards. I've been trying to flatten them out very passively because I don't want to damage them, but. There is some there is some warp to them. Overall, they're in extremely good condition, though. And the other reason is because I got a bunch of them. Look at those Lucarios. A dollar a piece, too. I'm pretty excited about that. Snorlax, and I've got some Altarias in the back. Pretty sweet to be able to offer those for that price. Um stack like that <laughs> and finally some two dollar hollows two dollar charizards shining darkness style got a bunch of these got five of them i think yep got a few muse as well uh the reverse evolutions fully evolved which is pretty cool and regular holographic cards espion and a couple of umbreons at the end and now we're on to the final, the last pile, and trust me, there is no one more excited about being towards the end of this video as I am, because I am stoked, stoked, stoked to be done with this. The final stack is going to be my promotional cards. Promotional cards do not come with a set condition, they do not come with a set price. If you see a card that you want out of this final stack here, make sure to let me know what the Pokemon's name is, and the timestamp in the video specifying that it is from the promotional pile and I will give you both condition and pricing for the card. I'm not researching prices for promotional cards at the current time, they vary way too much, but I'll be able to research and f find out some information and hopefully just give you a really nice price on it. And the last of the promotional cards, moving on through here, still pretty impressed that I've got these sorted by type, and a crap load of these Darkrai. I don't even know how I got so many of them, but I do. 
this dark ray is really cool and I pulled this from um, one of those special packs a little while ago so it might be a little bit more than most of these but it's pretty awesome for a non-holographic dark ray I gotta say some heat trans, got some Eevees Reggie Gigas party a couple chibi Arceus from the Arceus movie commemoration they just happen to be included in the purchase and finally, these two guys. Whew. Yeah. Alright, well, this video is done. Sorry for the length of it. Um, I'm really not thinking that I'm going to be doing another one, especially on this, uh, on this level, this magnitude, anytime soon. I've got so much other stuff to shoot. So, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from some of you guys via PM or email soon.